Uh, guys, give it for Mike Silver, ladies and gentlemen. Mike Silver. All right, guys, closing up shop here as I will be mopping it up and doing a quick five. Uh, last week, I was too sick to even, like, I wasn't sick. I had, I had a head cold and, and it turned into a sinus infection. And then, then uh, now here I am, just a dad. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, are, you, are you set? Yes. All right, guys, next comment coming up. Uh, give it for Ish the Elf, ladies and gentlemen. Ish the Elf. Ish the Elf. No, it is the season of Ishmas, folks. You need to get oh, right nice. there, Junior. Actually, no jokes tonight. I'm just going to tell you about my lovely day yesterday. I first want to uh, disclaimer God has to be a comedian because my life is very interesting. So I woke up uh, yesterday, I went, uh, no, I didn't wake up yesterday. I woke up Friday, went to the DMV to pay off, I thought I only had one ticket uh, on my uh, registration to get it up to date. I found out I have two tickets and it totals $411. I only got $500 from the fucking, from Amazon. So I'm down about $100, got some, put, put some money in my uh, car for gas all that fun stuff. I worked a 10 hour day yesterday and I was going to the uh, Smashing Pumpkins concert in, at the Hollywood Bowl. Right on. Free 99, folks. It's good to have friends in high places or it's good to have friends you get high with. I don't know what the difference is. But no, either way, I went to the Smashing Pumpkins concert, didn't pay a dime. I loved every minute of it. Um, uh, what? And I, I had this weird conversation with a guy who was a film director at some point. Like, we were talking about how, what, uh, Smashing Pumpkins used to rock, so did Limp Bizkit, and then we went on to Kid Rock, and then how Kid Rock said, fuck cancel culture, and how cancel culture uh, was, was shit. And then he said, like, well, what would happen if, Pop, if they tried to cancel P Pablo Picasso? And I was like, well, what if, Pablo, what if we found out Pablo Picasso was a pedophile? then we'd probably look at his art a lot different. I didn't know that was the gateway to the, one of the worst conversations ever. Because <laughs> then we started talking about fucking what? Uh, no, I, I said, the second I said that, I said, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, let's say, let's say we found out Pablo Picasso was a flat earther. But I said, no, no, it's too late now. So then we started talking about Michael Jackson, yada, yada, yada. He filmed a documentary about Michael Jackson back in the day. And I was just like, fuck, dude, this is... Cool. He starts foaming at the mouth. That's how in, that, that's how invested he, he was in this conversation. I was like, holy shit, dude, can we get on with this? And, and uh, what? Jane's Addiction was opening for fucking Smashing Pumpkins. Oh, no! Another, my, my, one of my second favorite bands from, from my youth. And when I finally get to the concert, there's actually parts of the Hollywood Bowl that I didn't even know existed. I used to work up there for about eight years. They've now built up past... Stand eight where I used to work a lot, and like there's a there's another bar. You see a big overview of the of the uh, venue now. It's fucking amazing. And the one thing that really struck me, I didn't realize how many songs of Smashing Pumpkins I did not fucking know. Cause like I've heard, I've heard like like my 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 album, my favorite album is Melancholy. Uh, in, uh, Infinite fuck. Sadness. Yes, an Infinite Sadness. D uh, d double disc. Uh, album that I bought at least three times before the invention of digital music. And like all these songs that they were playing, they even did a, a cover of one of the uh, Talking Head songs. Um, and you may ask yourself, where is this beautiful house, that that song? So so Billy Corn singing, singing that, I was like, oh my god. And then <clears throat> later on, he decides to sing fucking Tonight Tonight, a cappella. One of my favorite fucking songs of all time. If you, I wish I had a time machine to tell my, my 15 year old self, hey dude, life's gonna be crazy, people aren't gonna understand you, but one day you're gonna get to see your favorite band playing your play, favorite song, a cappella, and everything's gonna be coming up roses. I'd be like, where do I sign? Can we go there now, please? I hated high school. High school was horrible for me. I don't know what it is about being first generation African American in a white town. I don't know, I think my parents would have had better luck if we just stayed in Africa, just saying. But no, um, <clears throat> then, uh, my friend, like, I haven't talked to Nick probably all, all year, just because he still works at the Bowl. 
I don't work with the wall anymore. But it's like, he hooked, he hooked me up. I had like two fucking tall boy 805s and shit like that. And I'm not a big guy. I already had like an Elysian dust before I went in. 8.2% on that motherfucker. I had one of those. And then I went to a club after. And, and I think it was like Wakanda night or something like that. Because apparently all the brothers were there. I was like, every black person you could imagine was at this club. And chicks were actually dancing with us. Like, normally they don't fucking dance with us at this club. I don't know what it is. But yeah, some woman actually pulled me in and started grinding on me. I was like, I'm looking around like, am I on candid camera or something like that? But no, it was, it was phenomenal. And for some weird reason, I saw my fucking former manager there. And she's like a white chick who, who kind of looks like Justin Bieber. And she's like a lesbian. So I was like, what the fuck is going on tonight? It was just, it was just very, very crazy and wild. And like the cover, cover for the club was $5. I didn't mind paying that. The club kind of closed down or it was closing. And some guy dropped his money. And I was like, hey, dude, you dropped your money. I gave it to him. It was like five bucks. He's like, hey, you know what? You can have it. I was like, so basically I got into the club for free as well. And I was like, holy shit. Life is good. So I drive home. I uh, buy my dog a lovely uh, uh, kid-sized burger plane with no fucking uh, ketchup and shit on it. Because I, I took a bite. I had to take a bite. I was fucking starving. <laughs> so I'm off the beer that I, that, I, that I had. And then I get home, and there was a check from from Postmates from a from a uh, lawsuit settlement for $440. The exact amount of money that I just spent on all these fucking tickets, folks. Don't tell me God is not a comedian because he is fucking hilarious and he loves fucking with me. I don't know what it is. But yeah, I, I'll take that any day of the week. Like I even came up ahead like $30. I was like, holy shit. Now I'm going to go to Vegas. No, I'm going to buy some new ring earrings though. But oh, thank you. And there is the light, folks. So this is the season of Ishmael. I, 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 I'm going to start using, uh, I, I, I just saw Weird Al Yankovic, and I have some parody songs, and I would love to, to give you one now. It's the time of the year for all boys and girls to stand and cheer, chicken burritos in beer, chicken burritos in beer. Open your heart and your ears for chicken burritos and beer. Thank you very much, folks. Thanks for coming. Happy holidays. We're almost near the end of the year, folks. Appreciate. Don't commiserate. And love thy neighbor. Good night. Peace. Guys, get for ish.